sustainability has a variety of meanings to me. It's complex, and it depends a little bit on the context. In general, the way I see it is kind of whatever you're doing, uh, you're applying it so that you can understand what you're doing and be able to continue that process into the future theoretically indefinitely, but in a way that is as close to the best as you can get. In specific context, for me, uh, when I'm looking at waste, it's focusing on waste reduction is what makes something more sustainable because if you're looking at all the options, the less waste you have, the more you're going to be able to deal with things forever. The motivation I think we should have, let's go with that, is that it makes everything better. Um, because on an individual basis, you're looking at the broad picture. You're thinking about everything. You're thinking, how does everything affect each other? You're spending a lot of time reflecting. You're spending a lot of time communicating with each other and with others. So it's just that it has that holistic peach picture that I think we ignore a lot on an individual basis. On a community global scale, a, a big part of that is that communication piece. Um, enable, in order to be sustainable, you have to be able to communicate and understand a lot. So that increased communication between all peoples and including everyone is really important to be able to do things sustainably. If you care about people, you want to do things sustainably on that global scale. So that, and part of that is you wanting to communicate with people in that whole piece. So if you care about people, you've got the motivation to do it globally as well. The big project I'm working on right now is the furniture swap. We've been creating an online furniture sharing platform for the university departments on campus and with storage space and creating a whole system around that. It's a huge waste reduction initiative where we're trying to prevent the furniture that we have from going to landfill and instead being reused. I've kind of been at the heart of this. Um, uh, the previous sustainability coordinator is also something that was floating around in their mind. We've got uh, Dave Horn in the doc room, and uh, he deals with uh, the material handlers. So they're the guys who move furniture and all kinds of stuff around campus. And previously we had uh, a different sustainability person forgot what his title was, uh, but yeah, his position doesn't exist anymore. But he did the, got the website space for us, and then I've been kind of making it all not broken. So there's a lot of departments and people on campus who are working on campus who don't have all the resources that they need or should get or the budget for them, and we've been having people use this swap program to get really nice things. The other problem we've been experiencing is that there's a lot of really nice things that have just been going into the landfill. It's just like, there's a lot of money for that thing, you probably shouldn't be throwing that out. I think um, what we're going to end up is with a higher level of responsibility for the items that we have in general. Um, so a greater respect for the resources that we're using. Um, yeah, uh, something that I'm hoping is going to bleed into is the R electronics side, because that's another kind of thing where it's just like, it's chronic, where we just don't use stuff that can be used. Just it, like global impacts too, you're just like, that's really expensive to make, but we shouldn't just get that recycled. There's a lot of uh, stuff that can't be reused on campus. We're trying to give away to the community for free. So we're hoping for more of a, I think, large impact, a community understanding, more of a sharing culture around our resources. Um, the idea that we don't necessarily have to buy everything brand new. It's okay to reuse stuff. I'm hoping also for like a little bit of people not being so Oh, it's gotta be perfect looking. And more of like, oh, it's not necessarily exactly what I wanted, but the idea that I could make this work. So the funny thing is like direct impact wise, uh, the university say globally doesn't have 
that large of an impact because I mean we're big, but we're not like Coke big. Um, we're going to be saving some resources. That's one thing. But I think the bigger potential impact is to be a model, uh, a way for other communities to do this together. Or if we're able to start working with the city in partnership, if cities are able to do this. So the university is almost like a little mini city. So it's a good testing ground for new ideas. If you can do something at the university scale, it might be possible to do at the city scale or at other universities and kind of expand. That, that education piece, that kind of piloting piece, are all, I think, the, the impact. What the heck is that? What's that doing in there? Why is that thrown out? Why? <laughs> That's the inspiration. Yeah. So far, we've had people have been like, yay, stuff, and just kind of happy about being able to do these things. Because more people want to be involved. Um, that's probably like the, the short-term thing. We've probably saved a bunch of money. Um, yeah, there's been some departments and grad students who got to get stuff that they'd have to buy. We've started um, keeping track of the amount of furniture that we're kind of sharing and reusing. It's kind of hard to track because we try and track things by weight, but for furniture you're like, oh, let's convert this desk into by weight. <laughs> you're just like, it's not too easy. <laughs> we're just been trying to track by items. Uh, somewhere between like 180 to 300 or something that we did just last year. So that's kind of the more measurables right now. And then we're able to see like how many people we've it's probably like 40 to 50 in a year or something, more. The mandate of the organization and the group you're working with really affects the success of the project you're running. Um, small scale, sometimes you can kind of ignore that effect of the institution. But when you're trying to do something that affects the entire organization, having the mandate of the organization be aligned with it is really helpful. So that's kind of like the point that we're struggling with right now, is kind of scaling it up. Basically, it's just like, we need some resources put into this to make it happen. And the other thing too is, if it's just one project versus I'm doing too many. It's, it's a lot easier. I've just started up a composting program at the same time right now. So yeah, that's happening. The rest of the office stuff at the same time. So it's just it's a challenge. Money wise, we're not we're not great at the moment. We just came out of like I think like two years ago or something like the board so from high up, they just cut a whole bunch of funding for sustainability <laughs> and just like said, oh, we don't need that office over there, whatever. So we had two offices and one of them's hidden here with me. So physical resources is back, kind of started footing the bill a little bit. So that's not going to carry on indefinitely. And that only brought in sustainability so far because physical resources is kind of like a physical environment kind of thing and only the stuff that's going to help us save money <laughs> whereas for broader impact you need that broader kind of mandate where you're like that thing is not necessarily going to directly save us money but it gives you that broader picture so if you've got that broader picture money isn't everything at a university without the professors without the culture without a lot of things it's not the same place even if you have money like you've got new students every year so there's all these constantly changing factors and if you don't kind of say like this is something we value you're not going to invest in all the ways you should you're not going to do the sustainability that involves thinking about culture and then thinking about social justice and thinking about how does the environment relate to our culture and our social justice and all these kinds of things. How does planting trees affect students' ability to study and did that make it more sustainable and all these kinds of ideas. I think more recently they're kind of recognizing that that's, it's part of their brand and that 
if they don't do something to back it up, they're not gonna have that brand. 